Hi, good evening. Welcome to another evening of transformation. Today we're going to be talking about forgetting those things which are behind. Forgetting those things which are behind. You see, in life we experience several things. We experience good things, we experience bad, we experience ugly situations, happy situations, and all kinds of memorable situations. But here comes the irony of life is that sometimes there are so many things that happen to us that keep us stuck in the past, that keep us thinking about our mistakes. There are several things that people may have done to you that will be bad. There are several things that you may have been treated badly, you may have been treated unfairly, you may have been treated in a way that you did not like. Okay, sometimes these things that have happened to us get stuck in our mind. They make us feel rejected. They make us feel dejected. They make us feel frustrated. These things tend to undermine us. For example, someone may betray you. For example, someone may lie against you. For example, someone may treat you in a way that is dehumanizing. But what do you do with all these situations and circumstances that happen to you, that occur in your life? There is a scripture in the Bible. It says, Philippians chapter 3 verse 13. It was this great apostle called Apostle Paul. He says, This one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are before. There are several things in our life that has happened in the past that for us to accomplish our destiny, we have to put them in the past. We have to forget about them and press on. The more we think about them, the more we cannot move forward. Many people are stuck in life. Many people are stranded. Many people are stagnant because they keep on thinking about the bad situation that has happened to them in the past. But today I've come to encourage you. Move forward. Move on. Drop the past behind you. Forget about all those things that have broken your heart. I know sometimes it may not be as easy as it is. It may, not be, as, it may be easier said than done. I can say it so easily to you, but it may not be so easy to do. But you have to do it. You have to do it for your sake. You have to do it for your future. Because there are great things that God is going to do in your life that cannot happen if you keep thinking about the past. Great things that God is, is said to do in your life that it can't come to pass if you are thinking about the things that someone did to you yesterday. So my encouragement to you today, bury the past behind bury the past behind someone once said that when life throws lemons at you make lemonade with it when life throws stones at you make bricks with it and build a house with it there are several situations that has come your way people may have treated you badly but i want you to turn that setback into a motivation for your future use that use that set back use that lemon that people have thrown at you use that stones that have been thrown at you use it for your advantage use it for your advantage there is greatness in your future there is greatness happening right now in your life god is said to do great things in your life those great things cannot happen if you keep thinking about the past if you keep thinking about sometimes it may even be the mistakes you have made paul says forgetting those things which are behind sometimes it's not just that it may be that it may not be your fault it may just be that someone does someone hated you someone can just decide to say i don't like you for no reason and many times we take offense we get offended we keep thinking about these things people have done to us it may not be our own fault so someone might just wake up and say i don't like you and start treating you badly for no fault of yours but what do you do turn that as a motivation for yourself turn it as a fuel for your future drive towards your future drive towards the purpose of god for your life drive towards that dream that is that god has put inside your heart there are so many people in life today for the past five years they have no they have not moved forward you know why because the past is still hurting them the, the past is still is still disturbing them it's still keeping them but today I have come to encourage you today forget those things which are behind you see forgetting is a powerful motivation 
there are certain things in life that until you learn to forget it, until you learn to forget, just have a short memory and forget about it, you can't move forward. You can't move forward. I'm going to give you this analogy of a car. In a car, we have three mirrors. We have the side mirrors and the rear view mirror. The purpose of these three mirror is to drive and see what is happening at your back. But when you notice in your car, these mirrors are small. They are made to be small so that you will not focus on the back. You will keep on moving forward. Because the more you are focusing on what is happening behind, the higher the possibility that you can have an accident. The higher the possibility that you can run into a car and hit a car. Life is just like that. The more you keep thinking about the mistakes of, of the past, the more you think you keep thinking about the hurts and the bitterness, the more you are going to encounter problems and you are going to run into accidents in life. I, co- I want to encourage you today, keep moving forward. I want to conclude with this story. In the Bible, Jesus is the Messiah. He was a great man. He went to his own hometown, his own people, and his own people rejected him. Can you imagine this? This was the son of God. He was rejected by his own people. The people who are supposed to appreciate, celebrate him, but they rejected him. They said, is this not the carpenter's son? Who is he? But Jesus did not allow that to stop him. After that, Jesus called his disciples. He gave them power over unclean spirits. And he kept on moving, moving and moving towards his destiny. So what am I saying to you today? Don't allow what people have done to you yesterday to stop you. Don't allow it. You are greater than your past. You are greater than the opinions of people. The opinions of men and women cannot define your future. And they cannot define your destiny. I want to leave these words with you. Forget those things which are behind and reach forward for your destiny. Reach forward to your greatness. Prove your naysayers wrong, okay, by pursuing your dreams. In conclusion, I'm going to say this. One of the ways, the best way you can cut off your past, you can cut off from the things that are trying to stop you, is by running towards your destiny. Take steps towards your dream today. Take steps toward building that business. Take steps towards starting that project. Take steps towards learning that skill. Take steps towards doing that thing which you have always wanted to do. And God is going to give you the strength. God is going to give you the grace. You are going to succeed. You are going to make it big. Till I come your way again, keep on succeeding. And God bless you.